Hey, how you guys doing today? So today we're gonna be checking out hot water heaters. I have a leak in mine, so uh, it's time to, to learn a thing or two about hot water heaters. I have an Atwood, and it's an, uh, an aluminum, 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 it's easy for you to say. It's an aluminum hot water heater, so it makes it a little bit different from, uh, I guess, the steel ones, uh, because it has a plug and not an anode rod, so uh, it's a little different in that way. There's plenty of things you can learn from this video if you don't have the, you know, if you have a, a different type of water heater than me, because, you know, general maintenance also. We're going to fix that leak on my hot water heater and flush out the system and look at some things. Maybe we'll learn some things together. All right, so before we get started with the hot water heater, one of the things we need to do is turn the water off. Pretty simple, I guess, right? Definitely don't want that water shooting out at you when you open that plug. We're going to go inside and empty the water. Like this open faucet that you think is probably nearest where the hot water heater is. So I'm going to do this one. I'm going to let this drain. Get the pressure out of there. Also, you want to make sure your hot water heater is off. You see here, ours is off. All right, so now we're going to come over here and open up our hot water heater. Well, there we go. And you can see it's been leaking pretty bad. You can see it's been going on for a couple of days because you can see all the white streaks going down there on the side of the RV. Now you want to give it some time after you turn the hot water heater off for the water to cool off because you don't want hot water spewing on you. That could uh, easily get you into the hospital. I'm going to come over here to the relief valve here. I'm going to open that up. And let that finish draining. One of the cool things about this, it has this fuse right here, so if this thing starts blowing flames out of it, it'll trip this uh, fuse and turn off. So a lot of safety features in this particular unit, which I really like. So we, we got a leak right here with this, this valve. And one of the things, I, I did a lot of research on this, and one of the things I found out, because I'd seen a lot of people on Facebook, you know, pages and stuff, talking about replacing these with copper or, or uh, brass, because, you know, they'd say they'd last longer or whatever. But the problem with that is this is a, an aluminum hot water heater, and if you put another kind of metal in there, it's going to cause a lot of corrosion. Also, if this thing gets too much pressure and overheats, this will melt and all the water will come out so it's another safety feature so i wouldn't recommend using a you know steel brass or copper fitting on that this is down to a pretty good little drip i think we can maybe go ahead take our plug off see that water feels pretty cool so i feel fairly safe about it I wish I had a socket for this, but I don't have one. Somebody put plumber's tape on this one, which I don't think is a good idea, being that it's plastic. I don't, I don't think it really helps, but I could be wrong. You have to decide on that for yourself. Feeling we're about to get a lot of water out of here. Hopefully it ain't hot. Wow. It's amazing there's still that much water in there. Good thing about that, it's probably getting some of the grime out of that tank there. So we got the old one out here. So now we're gonna clean out the, t the tank a little bit with this wand. Kind of turn it around in there a little bit. You see the white stuff coming out here? Keep doing this until you don't see any more white stuff coming out. 
Maybe some more of that white stuff here. Those, I believe, are minerals from the water. And you don't want your tank coated in all these minerals. Probably gonna have to do this a couple of times at least. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of white stuff coming out now. Look at all this. I guess we've got more to do, huh? We've been living full time in this RV for almost a year and I haven't done this a single time and from the research I've done you're supposed to do this like once every other month or something so yeah I really slacked on this wow I need to remember to turn the hose off before I pull that out <laughs> This is a little embarrassing, but uh, I discovered instead of coming up through the top like this, but came up through the bottom, it, it worked a lot better. So this is about our fifth time doing this and still some white stuff coming out. And I'm just going to keep doing this until it's clear. Now we shall put this bad boy back in, see if it's still leaking. Try to snug it up as tight as I can get it by hand. Just a long socket with that I could turn by hand would be perfect. Come on. I'd say that's probably enough. I don't want to get it too tight, being that it's plastic. All right, now that we've done all that, we need to set the air gap for the top of the tank. So make sure this is still open. You know, it just flips right open. And then we're gonna go shut the, or turn the water back on. We should get some water coming out of this. So this takes a little while for the water to build back up, but once you see the water coming back out like that, you go back and you turn the water off again. You let that go until it stops getting there. Once that's a little dribble like that, you can go ahead and flip that back like that and then go turn your water back on once you uh turn the water back on you go back inside and turn on one of your faucets and make sure all the air gets out of there and then you come back here and you check for leaks hi i just wanted to pop in and say hello we're a fairly new channel and we need some help please subscribe and leave us some feedback in the comments below thank you back to the video that's where I'm worried about right there and it doesn't look like it's leaking so far. Looking pretty good. This is still dripping a little bit, but that's just from where the water was coming out. That's fine. I think before I turn the hot water heater back on, I'm going to give it a little bit, give it some time to mess up. All right, so everything worked out. The leak is gone. Everything seems to be working great. It's nice to get it out of the way, you know, uh I know that from now on I have to, you know, do this far more often, especially since I'm full time, you know. I'm going to try to do it once a month, you know, flush out my system and just make sure everything's operational. Thank you so much for checking out this video and, uh, and I hope you, you learned something and then please leave comments for me if you can teach me something. Maybe I did something that you disagree with. All right, guys, take it easy.